we are on a gold ring here guys so we can check that out and we are gonna take this out I've already started it up but I'll I'll start it up again for you you get the little gold ring thing there that's pretty nice So we'll start. So this is a DCT, no clutch, <laughs> no clutch, man. I tell you, that's uh, interesting for me. Definitely interesting. I got so much stuff in my pockets. Um, yeah. So. We have an e-brake, man. I tell you, this is interesting. We have auto. So you could put it in drive. Okay. Uh, let's see. For now, I think I'll leave it in Torin. I'll put it back to neutral. Leave it in Torin. So what's it sound like? Wow, smooth. Smooth like butter. You know, that's the only thing. You kind of have to, or I have to, uh, get rid of my uh, motorcycle habits. My my habits with my, you know, my 1300, which is a, which is a manual motorcycle, where you know you usually would blip the throttle. Also, my feet are going to be in a different position, so that's going to be interesting. No shifter. No clutch, no shifter, no clutch. So, so you have your paddle shifter here. If you want to do manual, I'm not gonna do manual. I think I'm just gonna. Oh, here's your reverse. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Reverse. Hello. Any questions? Hey. No, I think I'm good. Yeah. Thank you. So this apparent, uh, you know, they use these tie rod systems. How about that? Where you can you can kind of see it moving there. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I remember when I went and looked at looked at them. I thought that was. I was like, wow, that's crazy. That's amazing. Alrighty. So this is supposed to be pretty much a 30 minute ride. It's a got a we got a good white ride going there. So we'll throw it in drive, we'll break up. Again, you know, I have to, <laughs> have to remember about my, uh, my crazy habits. That throttle revving, no such thing. Can't do that with this, man. It'll take off. As soon as you turn that throttle, that's it. So I'm looking forward to just feeling a bike. And we're gonna about to take off here. So, you know, oh, we're off. <laughs> so this is the model with the airbag. Wow, this is it's like super smooth. Super smooth. Wow, I feel like I sit high. I mean, to me anyway. Throttle's really smooth. Wow, even just a little bit of input. And she picks up really nice. So I'm not sure if I'll be going into sport mode. I'm gonna try. That I'll definitely do. Wow, it feels nice. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Trying to get a feel for the brakes. Wow, 
I can't even hear. I don't hear. I don't even hear. Wow. I'm just amazed at how. Like I don't. I don't even. I can barely hear the bike. Which is a little different from you know when you have a audible exhaust and that sort of thing. That is really, wow, these mirrors are awesome. Whoa. Hmm, throttle is really, feels like it's really in tune. switch to sport mode in a little wow I guess you could kind of get used to this DCT you're just riding and looking around we are at Americade ladies and gentlemen if you're watching this for the first time and wondering where it is that I am we are in Americade Lake George New York I am the best 1A this is the best 1A's ride and uh out here having a good time yeah rev your life away i'll still be here <laughs> so we're out here having a good time i got to get some nice demo rides in today i'm really really happy to get on this get on this gold team gold wing this is the uh, dct with the airbags wow i can man i'm still amazed at how clear everything is in the mirror it's awesome Up to sport. Ooh, ooh, yep, sport is jumpy. <laughs> yep, you can say that. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, it is. Wow, it even shifts quicker. The shifting is so much smoother. My indicator wrong? No. Shifting is way smoother. All right, so we are going. This right here. A little bit of gravel over there. Who's got the yield sign here? Neither one of us, it looks like. I like how it holds, well, I'm only at 2400 RPMs. Let's put the shield up. see nice and clear through this mirror I tell you Love how sensitive the brakes are. Just a slight little press. Slight press, just enough to slow me down. Really nice. Wow, this is awesome on a highway. <laughs> oh, 60 miles an hour, six gear. Wow, with the shield all the way up, no buffeting. I mean, the bike is is warm, but it's not uncomfortable, which is, you know, it's nice. It's really nice. Oh, wow. And you know what? I thought that 
riding this on a highway it would kind of be like a like a really a quiet ride like you really wouldn't hear much but the, the, the motor has a really nice deep tone to it man I feel like I don't even miss the clutch I, you know what I haven't even made a mistake of trying to reach in for the clutch I mean I don't I don't know if I did I don't I don't think I did and it kind of just does it for you wow Woo. that bus just gave me that was a bus it is a bus just gave me a really nice gust there let's switch to uh econ mode rain mode let's go back to tour okay so when I let off the throttle again, it'll it'll uh, it'll put me back to tour mode. In sixth gear right now, at about 64 miles an hour, 65 miles an hour, somewhere around there. And I'm not really messing around with the controls or anything. It really only thing is uh, windshield height and. in my modes that's for oh wait seven gears i forgot about that oh wow, there we go mm, that is nice so when i took it out of sport mode put it in tour mode now you wow oh man this is beautiful oh no vibration in my feet no vibration in my bum it's just a really nice feeling. Holds the line very well. This feels good. I mean, I can't even find anything negative. It's not like it, you know, oh, well, the shift's rough or there's a lot of heat or nothing, dude. It's like, man, it's beautiful. I've always wondered what the gold wings were like, you know, because my, I mean, my, I have the V Star 1300, I mean, which is the V twin, and around. Around these speeds is pretty smooth, but you go over 75, 70, 75, and you know you get a little bit of uh, you get a little bit of roughness, you know. But um, this is nice, man. This is butter smooth. She is just butter smooth. Probably the only thing you'd want is some uh, highway pegs. The bike has cruise control, which is really nice. Um, you know you to, to use that you basically I guess you tap down is it activated no I gotta push the button and and then I can tap down not sure if it's activated yet oh yep it's activated and there you go cruise control that is cool And you can speed up. Not really the where you'd want to use it for the most part, but you know. And as usual, it's off throttle and that turns it off. That is nice. I love these mirrors. Holy crap, I can see I can see Florida in these mirrors. <laughs> I can see Florida. Oh man. You know, and I'm so used to resting my hand on a clutch. I'm all just having to leave it there. I rest my fingers on it usually. Just so that air flies air flows through air flows through my fingers. I usually rest my hands there and you know what? Not having it there. Wow, that is so different. I don't even feel like I would need a backrest. I'm 5'11, uh, 205 pounds, and I, I don't even feel like I need a backrest. There's really no stress or strain on my back. 
the suspension is nice it's taut it's um the rebound and compression feels good when we get through the twisty section i'm actually gonna i'm gonna um i don't i don't think i've ever ridden through this twisty section they're taking us through because we're kind of we're going for a little bit here you know and uh i don't recall ever going through this area but you know you can just set the cruise control man and just kind of just cruise until you get there you know just give my right hand a, a, a break for a little bit you know kind of just trying to pace her this person up here he keeps he's slowing down and speeding up he's got to use that cruise control brother doing about 55 right now you do 500 miles on this bike you don't even think about it just a seating position alone you know i thought that i would not like my feet being where they are but i'm all for it i really really am all for it i i really can't i seriously can't complain about where my feet are right now I told my brain that i don't need to hold on to the clutch because <laughs> i i still haven't reached for it Oh shit. I can actually I can actually hear the brake relay as it uh as you engage it, as you engage the brake. How funny is that? Yeah, so main thing. Here we go through the twisty section. Figure I'll keep it in tour mode through here as opposed to the sport, so I hope you enjoy. Beautiful through here, huh? Really beautiful. These grips are really small. They're kind of my grips on my my uh, heated grips I have. They're really like uh, a thicker grip. So. Um, really impressive bike. The uh, you don't get a lot of engine tone. The engine tone is very flat, so I guess that's to get used to. But man, I will say suspension is a little squishy. <coughs> <coughs> just a little bit but that may be due to me being in touring mode i think that's what it is 
probably in sport mode it firms it up a little bit more but I think I kind of like to make, well let's try it out and see all right so we're in sport mode now Ooh, fifth gear high where's the twisties they said we we're gonna hit some twisties I just don't think we hit them yet I want to say oh man she's got some Man, she's got some power. I know they say don't keep it in sport mode, but damn! Whoa! <laughs> Dude, you're going to second gear and it's just like, oh, come on, let's go! Come on, come on, come on, come on! I wanna go, I wanna go, I wanna go! Where are we going? Left or right? Oh, shit. God damn. I don't know where we're going. That off, uh, that little off, uh, what you call it there, that right, coming right to a stop can be a little squirrely, but not too bad. Maybe I need to try pressing my uh, front brake all the way. Not all the way, excuse me, but a little more. Shoot! <laughs> Like it's very it, it, it does inspire a lot of confidence mainly because of how well the bike handles the bike handles darn good Sport mode in the corners, but you know you gotta you gotta just like this rubber band stuff is not good for sport mode. Sport mode just likes it. You gotta ride, man. I'm not saying to fly through the corner or anything, but you know you set your speed and lean that sucker and go, brother. what it is when you come to a stop you just gotta not be on the damn brakes can we turn around and do that again man this just looks like this would be a fun bike I didn't think a DCT would be this much fun I mean granted you know this yeah. where are we at Ooh, wow. Ooh. hello okay all right all right Sport mode just really lets you, lets it go. Really have to be <laughs> fine with the throttle. Man, I guess we're gonna get back on a highway. Well, I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen me uh, <laughs> ride the highway, so. Well, I did do it. I grabbed the, uh, I, I reached when we were getting off the highway, I reached for the clutch. <laughs> it was kind of funny. I reached for the clutch, I was trying to slow it down. Man, I tell you though, my, you know, my uh, first, my impressions, I love it. 
Wow, I love it, man. I know people have told me, they were like, oh man, don't buy a wing, don't buy a wing, don't ride a wing, man, because you'll love it. But you know what? In all honesty, oh, it is, it is just butter. This new wing is butter, man. Whew. Wow. I think, I think probably the first time that I would say I felt that this is leaps and bounds um, better and smoother than my, uh, my V-Star 1300. And I mean, my bike is a great bike. Don't get me wrong. I love it. It gets me back and forth. It's paid for, you know, I love that. But if I were, if I, if I were going to buy or when I'm going to buy, I think, I think this is going to be it. I'm not crazy about this dash, you know, this stuff that they got going on here. But, um, yeah, if I were going to buy this, this definitely, I could say this would definitely be it, man. Most definitely. So, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think I really have much more. We're going to make our way back into, uh, bringing the bike back now. And, um, I just wanted to add that on. But again, I thank you guys for watching. I thank you for taking the time to watch. And uh, I am truly and thoroughly impressed. All right, guys. Y'all take care. See ya.